Ever wondered what hydrosalpinx is? Well, let's dive in and break it down. In the simplest of terms, hydrosalpinx is a condition where the fallopian tubes, which are essential for reproduction, get blocked and filled with fluid. This blockage can result in swelling and has the potential to lead to fertility issues. Now you might be thinking, what causes this? Well, there are several reasons why this might happen. Some of the most common causes include infections, endometriosis or inflammation in the pelvic region. And these aren't rare occurrences, they're conditions that many women face at some point in their lives. Now, let's talk symptoms. One of the most common signs of hydrosalpinx is pain in the lower part of your abdomen. This pain can often intensify during menstruation or sexual intercourse. But here's the tricky part. Sometimes women may not experience any symptoms at all. Yes, you heard that right. You could have this condition and not even know it, which makes diagnosing hydrosalpinx quite a challenge. So why are we talking about this? Because knowledge is power. Understanding what hydrosalpinx is, knowing the causes, and recognizing the symptoms are the first steps to tackling it. And remember, it's not a rare condition. Many women around the world are dealing with it, often without even knowing. But don't let this worry you too much. Medical science has come a long way and there are ways to manage and treat this condition. We'll delve deeper into that in the next scene. The key is to understand what hydrosalpinx is and recognize the symptoms. It's a common condition, but often goes unnoticed. So let's shine a light on it together. Shine a So how do we diagnose and treat hydrosalpinx? Let's delve into this. Diagnosing hydrosalpinx can be a bit of a puzzle as symptoms aren't always present. When they are, they often echo those of other conditions. To confirm a diagnosis, healthcare professionals may use ultrasound tests or discover it during hysteroselfingography, an examination used in infertility investigations. Now, if left untreated, hydrosalpinx can lead to some serious complications. It can cause permanent damage to the fallopian tubes and significantly increase the risk of an ectopic pregnancy where the embryo implants outside the uterus. This is a potentially life-threatening condition that we certainly want to avoid. With that in mind, let's talk about treatment options. The approach to treatment can vary based on the severity of the condition and the patient's individual circumstances. For instance, if an infection is causing the blockage, antibiotics might be the first line of defense. In more severe cases, surgical intervention may be necessary to remove the blockage or even the affected fallopian tube. When fertility is a concern, in vitro fertilization or IVF often comes into play. This process involves fertilizing an egg outside the body and then implanting it into the uterus. However, it's important to note that often the hydrosalpinx must be removed first to increase the success rates of IVF. As with any health issue, the best approach is a proactive one. Regular checkups, maintaining a healthy lifestyle and promptly addressing any potential symptoms can go a long way in preventing hydrosalpinx or catching it early when it is often easier to treat. Remember, early detection and treatment of hydrosalpinx can prevent more serious complications. Stay informed and don't hesitate to ask your healthcare provider if you have any concerns or questions. Knowledge is power, especially when it comes to your health. So keep asking questions, keep learning and keep taking steps to protect your well-being.